Speaking before the UN Security Council yesterday, Ambassador Samantha Power directly addressed President Assad and his allies. To the Assad regime, Russia and Iran, three member states behind the conquest of and carnage in Aleppo, you bear responsibility for these atrocities. When one day there is a full accounting of the horrors committed in this assault of Aleppo, and that day will come sooner or later, you will not be able to say you did not know what was happening. You will not be able to say you were not involved. We all know what was happening, and we all know you were involved. It should shame you. Instead, by all appearances, it is emboldening you. Are you truly incapable of shame? Is there literally nothing that can shame you? Is there no act of barbarism against civilians, no execution of a child that gets under your skin that just creeps you out a little bit? Is there nothing you will not lie about or justify? Those, th those were damning, damning words, but they were damning words of the Obama administration. I know. They were, her words were damning to the United States of America. Her words were damning to, yes, the British Parliament and the British people and the German people and the French and the entire West. I guess I really shouldn't blame the French because Hollande actually told Barack Obama that he was willing to blow up be part of an operation that would blow up planes on the ground that were killing children and women and, and destroying hospitals. How Samantha Power, with all due respect, a woman that I respect, but how she sits there and says those words working for administration that has been mute on this issue or backed down when they actually finally did show some spine. It's unspeakable. These pictures are not just the legacy of Putin and Assad. These pictures are the legacy of the United States and their president, Great Britain and their prime minister, the United Nations and their secretary general, all of mankind. We sat here and did nothing. And I will say, Mike Barnacle, John McCain and Lindsey Graham have taken, I think, legitimately a lot of flack for, for wanting to be too involved in too many wars. But they called this right from day one. The United States, the United Nations, and all of our allies in, in most of Western Europe richly deserve the words that Senators McCain and Graham uh, directed toward us because of our inaction, because of what's gone on in front of the world's eyes for now five years. Yesterday, I spent a considerable amount of time with a doctor just returned from the border, the Syrian-Iraq border, <clears throat> and he told me a story about ushering, he and a group of other doctors and aid workers, ushering about 50 Syrian refugees, finally getting them to Erbil and on a plane to go to Germany. They were going to take the Syrian refugees in Germany. The stories that poured out of the refugees, I realize it's early in the morning, but the stories that he told me that were told to him, he said he had 50 to 55 people who were in shock, traumatized by what they'd endured. They'd seen their sons, their husbands beheaded in front of them, some of them. Some of them had seen their daughters raped. Some of them had seen their kin, their husbands or other children, burned to death, burned mm -hmm. alive. And this is, what we, this is what has been going on for five years. And, and, and Willie, what we have known has been going on. And we've had people sitting in this chair where Mark Halpern is right now, foreign policy leaders, for the past five years, saying there have been 10,000 killed in Syria. What do we do? Well, it's hard. You know, it's hard. There have been 20,000. It's hard. We just don't know what to do. It's hard. 50,000, 100.